This is not the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Trunks from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we're going to be opening, say it with me, a fake, a clone, a China clone, something to get an AliExpress for $20 because you thought you bought the real thing, but you didn't because it has zero Bluefin, Bandai, anything, Tamashi Nation stickers on it, also known as a KO and a knockoff. That's right, we're looking at a fake Trunks, Super Saiyan Trunks, Rage Mode Trunks, and he is not real. This is by Legend Creation. The last Legend Creation was not very good in my opinion. It was Vegeta. Did not like it at all. But we're gonna see if this one's any good. It looks to be a little bit better in terms of quality control. So we're gonna open him up. We're gonna see how he is in terms of paint detail, articulation and scale and accessories. But before we do that, if you're here on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01, at the end of this video we'll be doing a giveaway for the Marvel Legends, Mr. Fantastic, that's right, you will be entered if you keep it going down in chat on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01, that's right, and you can have a chance to win that figure absolutely free. So let's just jump right into this. Let's see if it's worth the money. Janelle, let's go up onto the top cam. I'm going to open him up. This guy is $20 on AliExpress. Again, he's a fake and he's a clone, but if you want 100% authentic real action figures you can always go to www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures and let's open this guy up and let's see if he's any good and as usual these guys are always going to be super taped on because they don't want him moving around getting smashed during transit from china and we're going to open him up let's see if he's worth it so far he does look like he's worth it also i have the real trunks here and we're going to see how he is in comparison. Let's get this guy onto the main cam right now. And let's see how he is. First off, let's look at these thick thighs save lives. What is going on here? <laughs> what is up with this? What is going on here? It looks like he had a little bit too much ramen. And it is definitely showing up on the waist. Uh, okay, so here's why that is there. It looks like, once again, Legend Creation is giving you the false pretense that you are getting the triple joint. You are not getting that at all uh, because what we have here is actually a ball joint right there. So that is the first thing that's wrong. And if you're asking, well, what's the difference? Well, look here. We have the real deal trunks. Let's zoom out here and I'll show you what I mean. If you look at this joint right here, that's there for a reason. So you have a solid sidekick right there that's very durable. Instead, we are replaced with a ball joint right there. So now that you know that, this already isn't like the real deal at all. It looks like they had to completely retool a trunks to make a clone. But let's look at everything else. Let's see. Let's Before we go into that judgment, here's the one thing that I do like about this action figure. Let's look at that face. That face is not bad at all. That actually looks like trunks. In fact, the hair actually looks really good too. It looks like they did a really good job on this face sculpt, albeit there might be something going on. Well, yeah, it looks like we have some mold lines here, but that's honestly not a big deal for a figure that's $20. Uh, the real deal, I believe right now, is going for about 70 So, I mean, you're saving 50 bucks. So, so far, the face and the head and the hair look really good in my opinion. Let's look at everything else. It looks like we got some really dirtied up looking arms right there. Uh, it is not consistent when it comes to the paint and, and detail. Uh, it looks like it just looks like a really used and beat up figure. It looks like the plastic is not of high quality at all. The feel of it does not feel anything like the real deal. Uh, let me just tell you that right now. So when it comes to paint and detail, I noticed there's just something, oh my gosh, and look here, I did not know that his his legs are that thick. <laughs> it looks like they totally forgot to paint this part on his legs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is not good at all. In fact, let's just go right into the comparison, okay? Let's just go right into the comparison of these two. This is nothing like, this is the fake, is nothing like the real deal. Besides the joints, look at the knees, right? Actually, I take that back. He is supposed to have that. My correction, my bad. He is actually supposed to have that, but this just looks really badly paint painted in comparison to the real deal. 
So the knee also oh, back to where I was saying the knees are completely wrong. We're looking at a version one trunks type deal here where these caps are too small, where these are much wider and meant to hide the knee much better. Again, I apologize for that. I honestly thought that that was not supposed to be there, but it is, but it just looks really bad in comparison to this one. This one looks much better when it looks like he has that tear in his pants. Uh, chat saying that's his skin? Yeah, that's his skin. So he has, Janelle is saying, is that his skin? Yes, that is his skin. Uh, his pants get torn during the fight with Goku Black. No, this in this one, it doesn't look good because it's just really badly painted. It's like really thickly coated, whereas this one looks like it's supposed to be there. You know what I mean? It looks like they just uh, molded the pants, right? They didn't really sand the this down. They just painted it over, whereas this one, it looks like they sanded it out, down really nice on the real deal, and they gave it a nice coat of paint there, so it looks more natural. Whereas the fake one, no, you don't get that. And again, the knees are completely wrong. Also, if you kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, his boots are thicker on the real one, or as the fake one, they're much thinner. So we're looking at a scaled down version of Trunks based off the version one body of Trunks. Uh, uh, let me see here. Yeah, it looks like they are to scale uh, to m what I can see. They are about the same height. But yeah, this is definitely based off the version one Trunks. Uh, <laughs> also, if you look here, let's look at the scarf when it comes to the real deal. Okay, as you can see here, this one just seems better looking. There's more detail in the scarf on the real deal, whereas the fake one, it just just it just doesn't look as good, in my opinion. We got some more rips and tears. We got better painting, better shading, and whatnot like that. So again, you know, you're paying 20 bucks. Of course, you cannot expect the real thing. I honestly thought they were going to make something close to the real deal this time, but no, what we are getting is just like a a pseudo custom of version one trunks from SH Figure Arts. So let's move on to articulation and scale. Let's see how tall he's standing. He's standing about five and a half inches as he should. I'm going to compare him to Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. It looks like these actually are to scale, which is something I actually like. This figure actually is quite to scale, but he just has a lot of things that I don't like about him, which we will get into the uh, conclusion. Here is Bring Arts Cloud. Janelle and I have been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you haven't, you should. I don't know why you're not. It's an excellent game. We have Demoniacal Fit Goku Black. Uh, and that looks really good. Actually, yeah, these two don't look half bad together. Demoniacal Fit, in my opinion, is one of the best clone companies out there. They're actually based off the real deal and to scale. Marvel Legends Cyclops with Jacket. Eh, not so much. And one of my favorite Spider-Man figures. <laughs> We have Swivel Man, aka Spider-Man 2, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. As you can see, not so much scaled together. Eh, maybe. Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, let's talk about articulation. Do we have a super tight toe joint? Yes, this is a common thing when it comes to clones. These toe joints, I don't even know why they even bother putting them there. I mean, there's so many things incorrect with this figure, yet they still bother to put a toe joint. It's super tight and it can't even move. We have an up and down here at the ankle. We have a really wonky looking knee joint. What is up with that? That does not look good at all, in my opinion. Of course, we have that ball joint here at the crotch. We have two at the midsection. Uh, can he do sidekicks? Not so much because he's got those uh, ramen thighs. That ain't going to happen. Or ramen waist. That's, that's not going to happen. A little too much ramen there. Oh, and we have fake butterfly joints <laughs> uh it looks like he you get the butterfly joint but you don't so this is something that i noticed with when it comes to legend creation is they do not put butterfly joints but they will try to simulate a butterfly joint so uh yeah it's it's not there as you can see in the real deal we do get working butterfly joints as you can see right there so uh, we don't get that we get two at the neck being around 20 points of articulation do we have broken parts? Nothing is overly loose. Are we going to have a broken arm like Vegeta? No, we are not going to have a broken arm like Vegeta. Uh, one more thing, man. I'm just hating these joints. Just just look at that. Look at those elbow joints, man. It's, it's just so ugly. Janelle, do you agree? That just looks ugly. Look, look at the elbow joints on the fake and then the real one. It just looks so streamlined on the real one. Whereas the fake just looks really, really bad. And also the real one has bicep swivels, whereas the fake does not. So there's a lot of things wrong with this one. It is not a true clone of the real deal. Yeah, not a true clone of the real deal. So let's look at the accessories. 
Uh, before we do that, I want to know if you could do a head swap with the real deal. Right now, I don't have the real deal trunks head with me. He's at home right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this head. And we're going to see if it works. Uh, oh, boy. Nope. <laughs> and that's a that's a no. That is a big no. Uh, although I have to say the fake ball joint is just beefy. That is a beefy joint. We're talking quor double quarter pounder with extra cheese on that super beef joint. They're all like, you know what? We don't want this to break. So we're going to put the biggest ball joint on there. Let me just say that is that is a nice joint. I got to appreciate that actually because that is not going to break anytime soon. At least I think it won't. So to answer your question, for those out there, can you replace the head with modification? Yes. Right off the bat, absolutely not. That is not going to happen. Uh, I know there are some people out there that do like, okay, well, maybe we can modify it. And they'll, they'll modify it. But honestly, you want, you want this to be an easy, streamlined experience, don't you? Time is money. That's what I say. If you got to waste time to customize a bootleg, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> anyway, now that we know that, Let's look at the other accessories. Janelle, let's go over to the top cam. And what we have here is the sword, the key sword. Really nice. I'm so glad you have that. Honestly, I have two trunks because I lost the this blade in when we were moving. So I'm so glad that we have another. I'm probably going to keep that for myself. Uh, well, actually, no, I have two trunks, so don't worry about that. Uh, we have the sword that's broken. We have the regular sword. We have the sheath. We have assortment of hands. And of course, we get the face and the Super Saiyan head so let's go back to the regular camera as i try to remove this head and what we're going to do here we're going to put on the super sand head <sighs> that joint is too much beef janelle do you like too much beef it's just too much beef it's too much beef for me <laughs> uh let's look here so yeah, uh, big differences in the in the hair here. Big major differences. Number one, paint is much better on the real deal. Obviously, the fake one doesn't even look like they cared. This is just, ugh. This is worse than Dragon Stars level. Wow, not really good. I don't like the paint. I don't like the plastic. It's not very good at all. Whereas this one looks so nice with super spiky and everything like that. It just looks also the real deal looks the the spikier hair looks thicker, fuller, wider, girthier. It, it just looks nice. It's, it's just nice. It's just nicer. You got to take my word for it. This fake is not turning out to be as good as I thought it would be. And there he is with his angry face. Uh, the reason why I'm zooming in super close is it seems like the molding on his cheek here just looks really bad. That's just something that I noticed. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep him this angry. And, of course, we're going to look at the other heads or faces and whatnot. Uh, we have here a yelling non-Super Saiyan face. We're going to take this off. And put this here. <sighs> I'm going to go like that. That actually doesn't look half bad, but like I said, it's just so unfortunate that you cannot just put this head on the real deal. Mm -hmm. It's just so unfortunate. Like, why? At least get that part right so the people who have broken trunks figures can repair him. But we, we don't get that, and that kind of that kind of makes me sad. And here his here is his side-looking Super Saiyan face right there. Uh, okay, let's look at the sword and whatnot. Let's see if he can even hold his sword. Uh, everyone give me one second as I pull out the proper hand to do so. So it should be as easy as the real deal. This pops off like I thought. We should just be... Uh-oh. Uh, super tight. My goodness. Super duper tight. I guess it's better than it being like super loose, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's get this this sword on him. And there you have it. There he is with his sword, his Tapion blade. Actually, I don't even think that's canon. Is it? I know it's from the movies as his as this fell off. <laughs> These are really weak joints. Uh so there you have it. 
That's him with his sword. Let's get the sheath on. Yes, there is a big sword, Deku Voice. There is. We'll be looking at that in just a second. I just got to make sure that this goes in. Now, another common problem with all the Trunks figures is that this peg will break uh, inside of Trunks, and that's not good. So I'm hoping that this can fit on the real deal as well. Just give me one second as I try to outfit this on him. It should be like that. And that does. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. <clears throat> Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm having a difficult time. Yeah, that is not fitting very well. In fact, if I keep going, it's going to break. So it just needs a little bit of work. This one, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get it to fit on camera. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, But you know what? It actually looks pretty good, I'd have to say, when it comes to the sheath. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. And you know I'm going to say it. It does look like it will fit the real deal, especially if you break yours. Let's do that right now because I know a lot of people have this issue. I just want to know if this peg will fit in the real deal. And it does. It does fit decently well. So I'd have to say this would be a good replacement if you broke your sheath. Last but not least, well, not actually not least, but we still have a couple more. This is the big sword. And there you have it. That actually looks pretty good. This is the fake. This is the real. So obviously the fake one looks dirty and not really that good. Look. Well, I guess it, it's pretty close. I mean, obviously the real deal just looks much cleaner because it has quality control. This one looks like it's... Can you hold it from the bottom? Hold it from the... And show it against the light because I'm wondering if that, that same gleam effect is on it. There you have it. Janelle had the it one too? on the other one. Sure. Yeah. Oh, at the same time. So Janelle said put them at the same time. So yeah, they do have the same gleam. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So here's the real deal blade. And if you're missing a small one, it does fit as well. Look at that. It's it's not that tight, but it will work, especially if you're just posing them and not playing with them. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Let's look at his key blast. And this is it. It should just go into this hand like so. And that one actually fits really well. And I think that's it when it comes to accessories. We're coming to a close on this. And of course we get the stand which we will look at on the video on YouTube. And I'm having issues getting this joint to fit. So you know what? I'm just gonna come up with a conclusion right now. Is this worth $20? I think you guys already know what I'm gonna say. So what I'm gonna say to you is, it's your money. <laughs> you can spend it on whatever the heck you want. But if you want a thick thighed um, version one trunks that somewhat looks like Dragon Ball Super trunks, then you could spend it on this one. I wouldn't hate you for it. He's not falling apart in my hands. He's okay. I mean, I, I, I personally don't like it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite figures in Dragon Balls in the Dragon Ball Super line from uh, Drag uh, SH Figure Arts. So, yeah, this figure has a lot to live up to. So I personally would not get this figure, personally. But if you can't get this one anymore for a decent price or at least close to what it is on retail, then I guess he'll he'll do okay on your shelf. It's not awful because it is based off an SH Figure Arts version one trunks. So that is my assessment of this action figure. Thanks for watching. Stick around if you're on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. And we'll be doing the giveaway. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here.